Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a super exciting recommendation video. These are book lover romances. This is actually a collaboration with Victoria over at Victoria's Romance Reads. I love Victoria and we're very excited to do this collab together. So be sure to go check out her channel and her video. Victoria is one of my very near and dear friends you need to go check out her channel go subscribe to her we have a lot of like the same reading tastes so um take with that what you will but please go check out victoria and her channel and her video i can't wait to see what books she recommends because i love books with this trope i don't know if it's a trope necessarily but basically one or both of the characters in the couple in these romance books loves books loves reading um so let's get into these recommendations i always love reading about characters who love books as much as I do. The first one that I have is Royally Matched by Emma Chase. This is one of my favorite romance books of all time. I absolutely love it. This is a royalty romance um, where our hero basically signs up to do Bachelor Royal Edition. He's a crown prince. Also, I don't like like celebrity and like, um, what's it called? Like reality TV romances, I don't like them. I like kind of on the verge of despise them. This book is the exception because it's like barely in the book at all. So I love that. Anyway, so one of the contestants on the um, dating show ends up like bringing her sister along as like a companion, like offset, like off scene. And she's not like a part of the group of women vying for him. And this is his romance with her, with Sarah. And it is so stinking sweet. I love this one so much. At the beginning of this book, Prince Henry is definitely like a playboy player, like been with a bunch of women and then once he meets Sarah this woman has like a quality to her he cannot understand like like he is drawn to her wants nobody but her wants to spend his entire life with this woman in like a blink of an eye he like all of a sudden realizes like I don't want to be with anybody else like what is this feeling is this love like what is this I love Henry so much Sarah in here I feel like is me as a person I love her so much she loves books so much she travels around and takes ever everywhere with her. I believe this very old worn copy of, I believe it's Pride and Prejudice. If not, it's another Jane Austen classic. I would have to reread this one to see which book it is specifically. Um, but she has this very worn and torn like book um, that she carries with her everywhere. It's like a treasure to her. I think it's from her grandmother um, who has passed. Something happens with Henry and this book. And one of the first like, alone meetings that they have together is like him accidentally like damaging the book. She is like distraught and he doesn't understand. He's like, it's just a book. Like, it's fine. Like, we'll go get you a replacement. I'm so sorry. And she's like, you don't understand. Like this book has so much value to me because of how worn and torn and well-loved it is. And, and then Henry grovels and goes to the ends of the earth to find her an old worn and torn, like very expensive first edition copy of this book. Like, Oh, I love him. <laughs> so if you have not read this series yet, you're sleeping on it. Um, you can skip to book two if you want to, but I recommend reading book one because it like really sets up book two, but this one's my favorite. Next, I have Disgrace by Brittany Cherry. Grace is our heroine in here and she moves back to her very small church centric town after her husband has cheated on her and she has nowhere else to go. And this is her romance with the town bad boy. His name is Jackson and I think he's a little bit younger than Grace, but they know like of each other in the town and Jackson is very much ostracized because of him and his family. And their families are also rivals. Grace and Jackson's families are rivals, but they cannot like keep their hands off of each other and then it develops into love. Um, very small town-esque. One of my favorite scenes in these books is there's this little town bookstore, little bookstore in this little town. They have like a rule where like different rooms have different like voice levels in it and there's all these nooks and crannies and sitting areas and a lot of the time Grace and Jackson end up going to the bookstore at the same time and they have their own little corners that they sit in, own little rooms that they sit in, that they sit in like every day and every day they leave book recommendations for each other on the tables um, with like little post-it notes of like, I know you're gonna love this one or I love the last one you read, here's one entirely different that I think you'd love too. Like little notes like that with the recommendations of the books and them just like talking to each other through books and falling in love with each other through books and post-it notes on books. Like it's so 
cute. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite books ever with this trope is actually an alien romance and I'll get into like the book part. You wouldn't think that an alien romance has this, but When She Belongs by Ruby Dixon is one of my favorite books ever. It's probably my favorite Ruby Dixon book ever. And I love the book lovers part. Before I get into that though, this book is about Sophie and Jurok. Um, so in the previous book in this series, um, you get to read about Sophie being rescued by another human woman and like her four alien brothers who happen to be space pirates. And the space pirates, like they're gonna go on like a treasure hunt and it's kind of dangerous to bring like a human woman along with them. So they're like, uh, we're gonna like let you stay with our friend Jurok who lives on this abandoned asteroid. Like no one's gonna find you. No one's gonna know about you if you just stay with Jurok and he'll protect you. Jurok doesn't know about this until they show up with her. And he has no other option than to say yes. Um, Jirok is like the grump of grumps. He just wants to live on this abandoned asteroid by himself and talk to nobody. And so his plans get a little bit like wrenched um, when this very, very chatty woman, human woman, who is stunning, um, brings her like alien pet with her on this abandoned asteroid with him. Um, so this is definitely grumpy sunshine and forced proximity. So our hero is very grumpy in here, right? But at one point, I think Sophie in a very chattered state of mind, like talks about how much she loves books. And like every time she finds like a book, she like buys it or gets it, like no matter what the book is about because in space, like books are a rarity. And so whenever Jirak goes off the asteroid to like do an assignment or buy a product or a part for some machine he's fixing, like he finds books to buy for Sophie. Like he can't read these books at all, but he just has to buy them for her because he knows she loves them. Like she loves books. She spends all of her days reading. Um, if it's not with Jirak, she's reading. Um, and it's so cute. He like pretends he doesn't care about her. Like he's really grumpy, but then he buys her books. Like make it make sense. Like, are you not in love with this woman? Next is Neighbor Dearest by Penelope Ward. This is about Damien and Chelsea. They're actually next door neighbors and they don't really get off on the right foot because uh, one of her like first days of living in this apartment, she has like a Zoom call with her therapist talking about a very embarrassing situation that happened to her and all she can hear is snickering through like her neighbor's wall and apparently the walls are so thin he like heard about her mishap and she is mortified <laughs> but they become friends like it's really sweet they connect over books over reading so that's like the book lovers part in here um but they have like different tastes in reading even like chelsea's friend comes in and reads books with her like it's really really fun but yeah this definitely is a friends to lovers romance like if it's animosity's friends to lovers more so um that i thoroughly enjoyed and you have some really cute dogs in here as well so that's an added plus you want a little novella i have a novel seduction by claire hastings this is about evie and drake and they actually went to college together evie was drake's tutor in college and <laughs> she did this thing in college which she doesn't really do anymore this like flip flops back and forth between present time when she's an adult and past when she was in college. Uh, but when she was in college, um, she would read some um, certain types of books, some hot books, and even like highlight her favorite parts and bookmark them. And then Drake in here is one of the many students that she tutored and he ends up like finding the books. I think she like goes to the bathroom and her bag falls or something. And he ends up seeing all these books in there. And he's like, oh my gosh, she likes these books. He basically becomes her secret admirer, like sending her like romance books. Um, and also like highlighting certain scenes that are very interesting, okay? And she never knew who this secret admirer was in college. Uh, so again, it jumps to present time when I think she's in her thirties, I wanna say. And she ends up across Drake at a bookstore, funnily enough and he kind of confesses that that was him and thus starts their present day like getting to know you relationship. This is a really short, fun read. If you want like a book lover, like novella, definitely pick this one up. Another one on the shorter side is The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lees. Like there's even books on the cover because these two characters work at a bookstore together. This is about Gabby and Jonathan. They work at the Bailey's bookstore. These two characters definitely do not get along. They are not buddy buddy, not friends, but they have to work together regardless. Um, and then the Baileys, the old couple who own the bookstore come up to them one day shortly before Christmas and are like, uh, we're not making enough money. So we're probably gonna have to either close down the bookstore or let 
one of you go. And so they come up with this bet to see who can sell the most books to make more profit for the bookshop. And whoever doesn't sell the most books has to resign. Um, and through their little shenanigans and their competition, they end up falling for each other around Christmas time. It's really sweet. You have autism representation as well. And um, the hero is a type one diabetic. So I loved that rep in here as well. Her normal one is Deceived by the Gargoyles by Lillian Lark. This is an MMMF romance um, with three gargoyle guys and a human witch person I don't really know how to describe her is she a human or is are witches witches and humans or are they just witch I don't know I don't know paranormal stuff is confusing sometimes anyway this is also a monster romance because uh these guys are gargoyles like the times that they're together but they can shift into like they can put like a human glamour on if that makes sense when they're like the human world Anyway, so Grace really wants to like meet the love of her life and start a family at her, of her own. So she goes to a matchmaker who is the heroine in another book in this series who is a matchmaker. And she ends up matching her up with this guy. He's a gargoyle man, um, but they go on dates when he's like in his glamour or whatever. Um, and she ends up like really falling for him, but she doesn't know that he comes along with two other gargoyle men. And they think that she's going to be perfect for like completing their family, which is definitely not something she signed up for. So it's a little bit jarring to say the least. But this is a super fun read that is very hot. <laughs> very hot. Um, but the book lover part in here, um, our heroine in here, Grace, really loves reading. And there are even scenes where one of the other, one of the, one of the heroes of this story, like one of the ways they connect with each other and spend time together is by reading books out loud to each other which is so stinking cute like i love that so much up all night with a good duke is a historical romance that i really loved that deals with books book lovers you even have like books in the background of this cover i always love when there's like books actually on the cover of these book lover romances this is about artemis and dominic and they're completely like besotted with each other when they first meet on like the streets of London. And I think even like the second time they meet, it's in a bookstore. She's buying books and then he's trying to find better books for his uh, teenage daughter to read. Um, <laughs> he is a single father and he caught his teenage daughter reading like this scandalous gothic romance book. So he wants to find books that are more geared towards her age range. He asks kind of Artemis for her help when he sees her in the bookstore. But little does he know that Artemis is the secret author of that book he caught his daughter reading. <laughs> and um, they end up, I think, also getting like a marriage of convenience because he really wants to find his daughter like a good mother. But then there's like some secret keeping and past things come up. But Man, I really loved the whole reading aspect of this book and like the whole secret author thing. I love historicals with like a secret author. They're so fun. Another historical with a book lover is Scandal in Spring. This is the last book in the Wallflower series. I love the Wallflower series and this one is such a great read. I feel like it was a great book to kind of like wrap up the series. This is about Daisy Bowman, who's one of the Wallflowers in this series and her romance with Matthew Swift. So for years, <laughs> Her dad has been wanting to set her up with like a childhood friend that she grew up with named Matthew. She hasn't seen him in years, but he's kind of like her dad's business partner now. And the last time she saw him, he was like not the most attractive looking to her. And um, they just like didn't really get along. So she's just been telling her dad for years, like never going to happen. No, like I don't like him. Um, but then she's like, in her early 20s and they see each other again like all grown up and she's like wait a minute wait a minute like who are you <laughs> um and this whole time matthew has been pining after this woman um and so he is very happy to say the least to see that jay-z's affection is like being reciprocated daisy in here loves reading loves books so i definitely love that part of her character um but i just really love this book because it gives me kind of like swan princess vibes on Daisy's side where like growing up she's like ew no um but then one moment when they're grown up like her whole vision shifts and lastly I have Misadventures with a Professor by Sierra Simone this is a boss employee romance um the heroine ends up getting this internship for her degree um she travels to England to do this internship she's gonna help a professor catalog these very 
old book collections. So there's a heavy emphasis on books and classics and literature in general in this book, which I really enjoyed. So her dad ends up like setting her up with this gig because he knows his professor who needs help in England. So that's gonna be her internship in order to graduate college. Because I think her major is like library sciences. But uh, right when she lands in London, she has like one free day to do whatever she wants and explore the city before she has to go meet up with this professor in his home at his office. She meets this man on the street in the pouring rain and they're very attracted to each other. They have a grand old like night together. Um, and then when she shows up for her job position, who's the professor she's gonna be working for, but that guy that she was just with. So definitely a little forbidden. There's angst between the two of them. There's this forced proximity element. It was a fun read. Anyways, there you have it. Those were some book lover romance recommendations. Leave your recommendations below and let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And also be sure to go check out Victoria's video. I cannot wait to see what books she recommends. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a pen emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.